Friends, welcome to the sixth lecture on module two. We are talking about accident modeling, risk assessment, and management under the basis of HSE course in NPTEL IIT Madras. This lecture is, of course, a continuation of the fifth lecture. I request the viewers to first look at the fifth lecture and understand before you look at the sixth lecture because this is a continuation part of the last lecture. In the last lecture, we have been discussing the different failure cases and consequences of a case study of LPG filling station located at two different places geographically. Different failure cases were identified, full board failure of the LPG outlet line of bullets, 20 percent cross section area of failure, LPG pump discharge line full board failure, road tanker failure, LPG pump mechanical seal failure, LPG pump outlet line gasket failure and road tanker unloading arm failure. These were the different failure cases for which the consequences could be dispersion jet fire, vapor cloud explosion, blevy and fireball etcetera. So, we have been discussing partly the dispersion and jet fire in the last lecture yesterday. You please understand that the failure mode of all these failure cases are more or less random except some of them may be totally dedicated to the mechanical systems which can also be corrected using a detailed FMEA analysis. Subsequently, we also said LPG unloading vapor compression outlet line full bore failure catastrophic failure of the single bullet and domino effects of bullets sequential cascading effect can also be a random mode of failure which can result in firewall, blevy and dispersion. There are different types of damages we saw effect of thermal radiation, effect of over pressure and the consequences derived from the damages could be dispersion, jet fire, blevy, fireball and VCE. In the last lecture we discussed about the consequences of dispersion and jet fire on both the plants located ABC and X axis locations respectively. Now, we will continue to discuss with this now what will be the consequences of the fireball on both the plants. Let us say the left hand side shows the consequences of fireball on the ABC plant and the right hand side table show the consequences on the triple X plant. The catastrophic failure of single bullet, catastrophic failure of three bullets and similarly at ABC and XXX I mean discussed here and we all understood that for a given thermal radiation the intensity load varying from 4 to 37.5 kilowatt per square meter for an average period for an year the distances in terms of fireball is evaluated for different cases for different locations for different kinds of failure may be a single failure may be three cascade failures of three bullets subsequently. Now, you can understand that the safe distances kept on increasing for the whole period of the year when you talk about the thermal load variations from 4 to 37.5 and when the cascade effect of three bullets are happening obviously, the hazard distances or the safe distances for LFL racing from the fireball are kept on increasing whereas, in this case it is not so and the same thing is also seen in both the locations ABC as well as triplex plant. Similarly, fireball can arise also from a road tanker failure on both the locations A, B, C and X, X, X. You can see that the hazard distances or LFL distances arrived for the fireball failure is also shown for three thermal load intensities varying from 4, 12.5 and 37.5 kilowatt per square meter. Now, based on this we attempted to determine the fireball hazard distances for different kinds of holy failures for a road tank failure, catastrophic failure of a single bullet of a capacity 150 metric ton and the domain effects of bullets we get the hazard distances for intensity of 12.5 which is kept common for both the cases in terms of meters where I see the domain effect generally has the more hazard distance compared to that of a road tanker failure. This is highly local whereas the domino is nothing but the cascading effect of series of failure of bullets which has more as our distance in both the locations. However, you will also see the fireball hazard distance computation is not significantly influenced by the location of the plant because you know the stability class for different plants at ABC and XXX are not same even the weather conditions the wind velocity were varied even then the fireball hazard distances is not influenced by the location of the plant in the geographic manner. 
then we attempted to study the variation hazard distance due to relative humidity for the ABC plant again for a thermal intensity of 4 and 12.5 we studied this for both XXX plant and ABC plant respectively. You see that for a different kinds of failure catastrophic failure of the bullet domain effects of the bullet and road tangle failure you will see it is more or less increasing that is the percentage hazard reduction in the hazard distance is on the higher side as respect to the relative humidity kept increasing and this is almost seen for both the radiation intensities for 4 and 12.5 respectively. Of course, the similar trend is also observed in the other location in triplex plant. The second focus was again subsequently in today's lecture is what is the consequence of over pressure effect due to blevy arising in both the plants. So, the left hand side table shows the effect of catastrophic failure of the bullet on ABC plant and cascade effect of series of bullets on the plant ABC whereas, the right hand side table shows the same effect subsequently on the XXX plant. Of course, the study has been done for a shock load in terms of bar because shock loads determine what would be the consequence of levy arising because we have already seen explosion is always carried by a shock wave front. So, shock load has been considered for a different intensity in terms of bar and the hazard distances has been worked out as blevy consequence arising from the catastrophic failure of the bullet and failure of the bullet separately. This series of bullets is bullets actually, so cascading effect. You will see that the effect of hazard distance due to blevy arising is more because it is highly local as far as the single failure bullet is concerned whereas, the cascade effect you see that it is not affected much because the distances are getting reduced compared to that of the failure case of a bullet in case of an ABC a similar trend is also seen in case of XXX plant. You will also notice that the hazard distance arising from blevy is not significantly influenced by the location of the plant whether be it ABC having a different weather conditions being XXX which has different weather condition the hazard distance does not vary significantly due to arising from blevy in this kind of accidents. One can now estimate the hazard distance for a different failure case like a road tank failure and catastrophic failure of single bullet. You will see that for a single bullet the hazard distance is highly local compared to the road tank failure because blevy is an explosion release model which tries to spread over a large area which affects the public population in a larger way. Now, based on these studies one is interested to know now the risk assessment. Now, we want to assess the risk arising from these failure cases and the corresponding consequences. Now, the risk assessment can have two parts one is the individual risk one can be societal risk. Individual risk we all know is the ratio of number of fatalities and number of people at risk which can be expressed in terms of risk contour whereas, societal risk is expressed as the number of people suffered from the accidental consequences it is generally expressed in terms of F1 curve. Now, the equations given to you on either side will give you the plot or the equation to calculate the individual risk and the societal risk in the F1 curve directly from this equation where it is being plotted now. Based on the study conducted we arrived at the failure frequency for different failure cases which are envisaged in this specific problem. Let us start looking at each case separately let us say full board failure of an LPG outlet line of the bullets. Now, the failure frequency is about 15 10 power minus 8 per an average year whereas, the failure frequency keeps on increasing for different case of failure except that of a road tank failure which is very rare. So, the full board failure has got 15 e power 8 whereas, 20 percent cross section area LPG pumps road tank failure road tank unloading arm failure which is having a very large frequency LPG mechanical seal failure etcetera. Now, looking at these failure cases one can easily observe that a common frequent failure is the discharge pump. So, it is important to know that one should pay more attention to this kind of failure discharge pump failure in the LPG stations as we saw from this specific study. Looking at the LPG unloading vapor compressor outlet now this is having a very high frequency compared to the earlier case and the maximum frequency what you see in the study of occurrence is dominoes effects on bullets. Generally the cascading effect failure of series of bullets 
does not frequently happen in LPG stations. Now as you understood we are now trying to plot the risk contour for individual risk and F1 curve for the societal risk. Let us take case by case. The first case discussed here is a full bore failure of a pipeline from an outlet of a storage bullet at ABC plant. The individual risk is arrived as about 2.5 10 power minus 8 average year whereas societal risk is about 1.7 10 power 8 average year as you see from this. Ladies and gentlemen it is very interesting and important to know that these plots of risk contour and societal risk plots of F1 curve are automatically arrived as an outcome from the software analyzed and used in the study. Similarly, for a 20 percent cross section area failure of the pipeline from the outlets of the storage bullet individual risk has been seen as about 8.47 10 power minus 9 whereas societal risk is about 5.56 10 power minus 9 where the plots are shown very clearly here for individual risk and for the societal risk separately. Of course, when you look at the catastrophic failure of the storage bullet now the frequency is higher because 1.1 10 power minus 4 now the contour has been developed and it has been shown that how the safe hazard distance can be extended circumferentially from the epicenter of the failure of a catastrophic failure of the storage bullet. Similarly, when you look at the societal risk F1 curves you will see there are three plots available one is the yellow one should obviously be between the blue and the green one indicating that it is safe whereas in this case you will see it is even much safer for certain number of fatalities when the frequency is lower. Talking of the rope tanker failure which is also one of the local failure the frequency arrive is about 1.2 10 power minus 5 for the individual risk whereas for societal risk it is as high as 8.7 10 power minus 6. Now the plot shows very well that it is between the band of acceptable limits of the societal risk and this curves very clearly show from the periphery of the epicenter of the rope tank failure the hazard distances which we discussed in the last slides have been plotted graphically from the software directly. Looking at the LPG pump discharge line failure for the ABC plant the individual risk is shown as 2.4 10 power minus 8 whereas the societal risk is about 1.8 10 power minus 8 which is slightly larger compared to that of the individual risk in LPG pump discharge line failure. LPG pump discharge line gasket failure shows an individual risk of about 2.5 10 power minus 8 it is epicentered only in this area because that is the place where the LPG pump discharge is being located in the plant and societal risk is very much within the band of the acceptable limits which is 1.9 10 power minus 8 per average year. As I told you the road tanker unloading arm failure road tanker unloading arm is a specific geographic location in the given plant this is about 3.6 10 power minus 5 average year where societal risk is slightly higher compared to this which is 2.2 10 power minus 5 it is beyond the boundary of acceptable limits of the risk contour. Vapor compression failure which is again local to the specific point where the tanker has been discharged the frequency is found to be 9.1 10 power minus 8 compared to the societal risk which is around 5.5 10 power minus 8 and you can see that the societal risk is again within the bands of the acceptable values. Talk about the full board failure of the pipeline from the outlet of storage bullets individual risk is focused to get about 2.4 10 power minus 8 whereas societal risk is about 2.2 10 power minus 8 <coughs> which is again the acceptable limits of the oil and gas industry. When you talk about 20 percent cross cushion air failure of the pipeline for the entire layout of the plant individual risk seems to be very high frequency of 8.2 10 power minus 9 whereas societal risk is in the lower frequency of about 5.8 10 power minus 9 however both of them are within acceptable limits as per the OSID standards. Similarly look at the catastrophic failure of the storage bullet the contours very clearly show that what is the average of about 4.3 10 power minus 5 average year the hazard distance are computed based on the periphery or the epicenter of the catastrophic failure where the storage bullet is being parked. When you talk about the Rome tank failure of XXX model it shows 9 power 9.1 10 power minus 6 
and 8.5 ton for minus 6 respectively for individual and societal risk for the plant. If you talk about LPG pump discharge line failure for triplex plant then again the epicenter is shown in different contours here which gives me a value of 5.4 10 power minus 7 compared to that of 4.9 10 power minus 7 for societal risk. If we talk about the gasket failure in LPG pump discharge line the frequencies are shown in the table and they are much within the acceptable limits of oil sta gas industry standards. The rope tanker unloading arm failure which have a different location compared to that of AVC plant has got a individual risk of over 2.7 10 power minus 5 which is slightly higher compared to the ABC plant whereas societal risk is again within the acceptable bands which is around 2.2 10 power minus 5. The vapor compression failure for XXX plant is of a high frequency of 9.5 10 power minus 8 located on a specific plant where the storage bullets are parked. Now let us compare the risk obtained or different failure cases for different plants ABC and XXX. As I told you one cannot directly compare the risk quantitatively obtained for different plants because the stability class, the weather condition, the relative humidity etc. For are not same for the two geographic locations of the plants. However, for a compared study let us see both the values simultaneously on the screen. For a full bore failure of an LPG outlet line which comes from that of the bullets, you will see that ABC plant shows an individual risk of 2.5 10 power minus 8 whereas societal risk is much higher compared to that of this. On the contrary, if you look at the triplex plant, the values are almost comparable and we can derive an inference from here saying that whatever the geographical location, maybe the stability class, relative humidity, the full bore failure is not influenced by these conditions in terms of individual risk as well as societal risk. The other comparison we can make is in both the cases the societal risk frequency is much higher compared to that of individual risk in both the locations. Similarly, for 20 percent cross section area failure, catastrophic failure of the storage bullets, road tanker failure, LPG pump discharge line failure, LPG gasket failure, road tanker unloading arm failure and vapor compression line failure one can prepare and compare the frequencies of individual risk and societal risk as we obtain as an outcome from the study from the software. Now we try to plot this acceptable risk level in terms of alarm triangle. Now alarm triangle in this example has been used by the governance given by HSE UK because based upon the existing hazardous industries in UK alarm triangle has been suggested by HSE UK which is being used for comparison in this present study. Now the values of 10 power minus 6 and 10 power minus 4 clearly show the borderline of unacceptable and alarm region. However, the values of frequency are below 10 power minus 6 let us say in most of the cases they are broadly acceptable for oil and gas industries. So now superimposing the values based upon the alarm acceptance level of HSE UK we see very clearly that the values shown in red and yellow are unacceptable and in alarm regions respectively. However, this is a border case therefore we put them in red. So we clearly understand for an ABC location of the plant the catastrophic failure of storage bullets is an unacceptable failure. However, the same failure for a different geographic location becomes an alarm region. So friends please understand the failure cases and their consequences and the frequency which arrive and the other distances are influenced by the location and geographic layout of the plant obviously. However, it is interesting for all of us to understand that since these industries have been built maintained properly by OSID standards you will see most of the cases the frequency of failure are within the acceptable limits by alarm conditions of HSC UK except for a catastrophic failure of the storage bullet. So based on this study a few recommendations were made to both these plants which I list now. The storage bullets should be either mounted or embedded underground. Ignition probabilities should be reduced such as disconnecting rope tanker battery from the engine providing proper earthing to the rope tanker during unloading etc. We should also recommend and we have recommended concentration of people at unloading area 
to minimize the concentration. So if this recommendation is implemented the study is again reconducted an ABC plan and XXX plan only on those regions where the study was showing alarm and unacceptable. For example, look at this table only on these three locations that is catastrophic failure of storage bullets, rope tanker failure and rope tanker unlearning arm failure has indicated an acceptable and unacceptable regions of failure. So, they have been revised back again after the recommendation implemented and now they see all of them are coming within acceptable levels. So, recommendations are implemented and the plan safety has been ascertained in terms of its risk to the society as well as individual working in the plant. Let us look at the summary of the both the lectures quickly. The hazard distances computed are unique for both the LPG stations implying that they vary with atmospheric conditions. For dispersion one can conclude that there is a decrease in LFL region with an increase in wind velocity and this variation is about 3 to 8 percent and there is a decrease in LFL region with increase in atmospheric temperature which varies about 4 to 6 percent. For jet fire releases there is an increase in hazard distance about 10 percent for a 12.5 kilowatt per square meter thermal load intensity with an increase in mean velocity. It is also seen for fireball the reduction in hazard distance is observed due to increase in relative humidity and this reduction is about 2 percent quantified and for atmospheric temperature this variation is as high as 12 percent. Hazard distances worked out for shock waves was found to be dependent on the pressure at which the mass is released and of course they are not dependent on atmospheric conditions at all. Risk value therefore can be reduced by adopting the recommendations with regard to storage bullets and unloading area of rope tankers. The evaluated error distance helps in expansion of the existing plant and the layout of the plant for future expansion can be therefore modified based on the quantified hazard distances. So, ladies and gentlemen the study presented is very interesting and it gives you a very good risk picture of two locations LPG stations and of course, the study is supported by different references which I am showing now on the screen. And I request that you please go through both the lectures once again simultaneously together so that you understand the series of failures addressed in both the cases of LPG plants located at ABC and XXX. You will then understand very easily how interesting inferences in terms of risk contour societal and individual can be derived from such studies which can be easily done using a software. In the next lecture I will try to show you a hands on experience on the software so that you can also use the software readily with input data available to you in your industry. Thank you very much.